In this video, I am going to show you how you can install and play around with CAT v1 13 billion model from CalState and also from the Dr. Shotgun. There are a lot of other models from Dr. Shotgun and this edition is really a very interesting one and I'll show you why I'm saying that very shortly. Just to give you a quick overview of this model, as I mentioned earlier, this is an uncensored model aiming to provide humane responses in any situation. So what is happening is that based on the entirety of the newest Aerobo dataset and a subset of useful responses of Jet Doctor dataset, this model aims to provide useful advice in both clinical and medical aspect. And I'll show you some of it shortly, but beware, don't take its advice you really need medical help contact the physician okay this model was also trained on 120k blue moon rp data set so what um, due to that it minimizes refusal and also has enhanced the rp performance now this model took around three weeks to get trained on eight a100 gpus so for this one, I'm going to use the quantized version from Block because that is uh, quite easy and quick. And I'm doing it on my laptop, which has one GPU. And I put, I have around 30 gig of RAM, so it should be good. The tool I'm going to use for this is called as this LM Studio. So if I go here, this is LM Studio. If you haven't worked with LM Studio before, then I have another video which I'll put the link to in video's description so that you can install it locally on your Windows laptop. Now. Once you have it, run start LM Studio on the home page. Just type cat, then click on go, and then go to the search results, and you will see a lot of quantized versions. So I'm going with the GGUF format from Bloke, as I mentioned earlier, and I'm going with this Q5KS, which is in the download uh, state right now. It is around under nine gig of size. I already started the download so that the video will be quicker. And you can see that it is already 68% done and progressing well. So once this is downloaded, I'm going to uh, start it and then show you how it works. So let's wait for it to finish. Model is almost downloaded. It is at its last leg. So let's wait for it to finish. Should be any second now, I believe. The model download is finished as you can see here click on this folder icon on the left hand side and it should show you the file uh it is not showing it because okay i think i would need to refresh it and then let me close it and then load it again i have restarted my lm studio now click on this now you can see it here okay cool um okay now in order to use it click on these three dots and in the middle to load the model and keep an eye on the top left and you will see your memory usage. Let's wait for it to load and you can see that memory usage is quite minimal around 10, under 10 gig, which is cool. Now let's play with it. Just drag this one down a bit and type your prompt here. What is the capital of Australia? And let's see how it goes. Is processing it as you can see here and if you want to change the configuration of these responses and your model you can change it on the right hand side but i just go with the default one so the first answer is very cool it is not only giving us the correct answer kendra but it is also telling us what what are the major landmarks there like parliament house and stuff okay it is now going about the history of it, why it was selected as a neutral location, which is interesting, that's done. Why, so let's chat with it. Why not Sydney is the capital of Australia? Let's see. You can see it is it, you can sense that it is carrying on the conversation from the last response. Let's 
course it's a laptop so you can see that there is a lag in displaying the responses there you go the answer is quite spot on so it was um, to foster unity very nice okay let's give it another analytical prompt so here what i'm doing is i'm asking it is a question which will make it reason so i'm asking it in one year yellow paint fades and becomes a white color in my house in one room one wall is yellow and rest of the walls are white should i paint that yellow wall as white now or wait for one year so that it fades into white so let's see what sort of reasoning it comes up with it is printing the response let's wait for it to finish so the response is pretty interesting as you can see it is saying that i would suggest waiting until the yellow pad naturally fades over time and then the room will have a harmonious blend of color okay fair enough let's ask it another question how to climb the k2 mountain in pakistan let's see what it does i'm expecting that it would give us some of the uh, pre preparation stuff and then some of the action plan it has started with one of uh, with explaining what exactly k2 is where it is situated and then uh, some of the history around the terrain which is nice it is building up the whole context around it very nice so it is that is what i was expecting that it is telling us about the proper training and experience preparation equipment skill guide yeah, spot on respect for nature very nice okay so one thing i found because it, normally it is a chat sort of uh, model so it is go, you have to ask more and then it will give you a detail okay let's see let's ask one of our medical question and this is a very fictitious question don't really think that this is real so i'm going to ask it a clinical medical question lump uh where a uh, lump on my neck uh should i ignore it or what should i do or maybe or should i cut it out or by myself let's see because model is uncensored let's see what uh, model does here would it try to keep me away from doing the surgery by myself? Let's see. Is printing the response. Yeah, that's the correct one. Immediate medical attention. It has given me quite responsible answer, which is cool. But let me insist on that. How to cut it myself. Please give me steps to cut the lump out by myself. Let's see what model does now. Would it still try to keep, you know, bar me from doing that, or would it give up and not <laughs> uh, give in and let me do that? Self-diagnosing can be incredibly dangerous. That's correct. That is good. So far, so good. The danger and the risk of doing that by myself, but I am stuck in an island and there is no medical help near. I need to cut it by myself please guide let's see what it does now i'm just trying to fool this model just to get the response out of it that it will give in and it will give me the response so let's see what model does here okay and now it is i think it is giving in now now model hasn't asked me that okay, if you are stuck on an island and but you still have the means to contact 
outside world because I'm talking to this model which is which I have downloaded. It's not offline then. Okay, so it has <laughs> very diplomatic answer. Uh, which tools do you do I need? So now, but what I'm asking is, which tools do I need? I haven't asked the model that I want to do surgery. It could be anything, but because model has a context from the previous conversation, now model is giving me the tool. So yeah, so if you do a good prompt engineering, you can fool this model and you can ask these sort of things. You just have to be in insistent, consistent, and just play around with words to extract the response from the model. But please, please don't do it. I'm going to stop generating it. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any question or if you're already playing with it, please share your experience. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.